magandang araw! Sama-sama tayong matuto sa Teacher Self Learning Resource Channel. Revise K-12 Curriculum Math 5 Quarter 3 Week 2 Constructing Double Bar Graphs Interpreting Data Presented in a Double Bar Graph Drawing conclusions or making inferences based on data presented in a double bar graph. Solving problems using data presented in a double bar graph. The table below shows the number of turon sold in a canteen. Using the data presented on the table as your reference, answer the questions that follow. How many turon were sold on Tuesday? 25 On what day did the canteen sold the most turon? Thursday How much more turon did the female customer bought than the male customers on Wednesday? 8 Who among the customers bought more Toron on Monday? Male customer. How many Toron were sold in all five days? 148. In our review, we tried to make sense of the data presented in the table purely by the values it reflects. As we can notice, we are comparing similar data from two different groups. In our case, we are comparing the amount of turon sold between two different customers, male and female. Can you think of other instances that you encounter that compares the same data from different groups? Presenting this data in purely tabular form makes it plain and simple. We can make sense of this data more effectively by presenting it through a graph. Before we proceed to our next lesson, let us first revisit some of the concepts you already learned previously on how to present the data in graphical method. One way to present a given data is through a bar graph. Bar graph. A bar graph is a diagram that uses bars to help compare data from different groups. A bar graph has various components. Graph title. This is written on top of the graph. This gives an overview on what type of information is presented in the graph. Axis and labels. A bar graph has two different axes. Group data axis, this axis displays what type of data is being presented. Example days, grade levels, genders, etc. Frequency data axis, it represents the amount or frequency of data. Legend, the legend indicates the type of data represented by each bar. Subtopic 1, Creating Double Bar Graphs Let us go back to our table earlier. The table shows a comparison of similar data, number of turons sold from two different groups, male and female customers. To present this through graph, we need to draw a double bar graph. Double Bar Graph A double bar graph is a kind of bar graph specifically used to illustrate similar data from two different groups. This bar graph and bar graphs in general is effective in showing results that are not continuous such as surveys, inventories, and others. From the graph earlier, let us construct a double bar graph using those data by following these steps. Write the title of the graph. In our graph, the title is Number of Turon Sold at the Canteen. Draw the horizontal and vertical axis. Label the horizontal axis 
For our graph, label it days of the week. Write the days given on our table along the horizontal axis. Label the vertical axis. In our graph, label it number of turon. Decide on a scale or the range of numbers that you will use in the graph. In our graph, since the frequency are close together, we can start the range from 0 until 30 with an interval of 5. Decide on a color of the bar that would represent the two groups being compared. In our case, let us use blue for male customers and red for female customers. Draw the bars to represent the data. In our graph, since we have two data for each day, we will draw them side by side 9. Indicate the legend for each bar at the bottom of the graph. On a clean paper, construct a double bar graph based on the data presented on the following table. This table shows the number of books borrowed in a week at the school library. Here is the correct answer. This is the rubric for rating graph. Activity number one, creating double bar graphs. Objectives, construct double bar graphs. Materials, paper, pencil or pen, ruler, coloring material. Conduct a survey on your class about the following topics. Results should be segregated based on sex, male or female. After you have the data, present it using a double bar graph. Topic one, favorite merienda, kakanin, fast food, or bread and pastry. Topic 2. Favorite subject. Languages. English and Filipino, Matsai, Mathematics and Science, or Social Sciences, AP and MAPE. Topic 3. Favorite hobby. Indoor activities, outdoor activities, both. Topic 4. Favorite weather. Sunny, windy, rainy. Double bar graph. You indicate the topic. Subtopic 2. Interpreting, making conclusions and inferences, and solving problems using data from a double bar graph. Previously, we already learned how to construct a double bar graph. We also learned that double bar graphs are used to illustrate and compare similar data from two different groups. Since double bar graphs represents data, it tells us a lot of information. Now, let us first construct a double bar graph out of this data. This table shows the number of active COVID-19 cases in five hospitals as of June 1, 2024. From the data presented in the table, we can construct this double bar graph. What information can we get? We can derive various information from the graph, which includes the type of data presented in it, the number of cases recorded per hospital and as group, whether children or adults and others. Which of the hospitals has the greatest number of adult patients with active COVID-19? How about the least? Based on the graph, the hospital with the greatest number of adult patients is St. Carlos Hospital, while the hospital with least is St. Raphael Hospital. To answer the question, we can easily compare the data by looking at the height of each bar. Which of the following hospitals has more children with active COVID-19 compared to adults? Based on the graph, the only hospital where there are more cases among children compared to adults is St. Raphael Hospital. We can easily see this by comparing the height of each bar. Which hospital has the greatest number 
of active COVID-19 cases. How about the list? Since we are asked about the greatest number of active COVID-19 cases, this means the total number of active cases in each hospital. To get the total, we have to add the number of cases among children and adults in each hospital. Doing this, the hospital with the greatest number of COVID-19 cases is St. Jude Hospital, with a total of 105, 50 children and 55 adults, patients. On the other hand, the hospital with the least number of cases is St. Magdalene Hospital, with only 67, 32 children and 35 adults, patients. Of the five hospitals, what is the total number of children that has active COVID-19? Since we are asked the total number of children that has active COVID-19 on all hospitals, we simply add all cases of children from each hospital. In total, there are 172 children with active COVID-19 in all five hospitals. Overall, what information does this graph convey? The graph conveys the number of active COVID-19 cases among all five hospitals that were identified. Study the double bar graph and answer the questions that follow. Favorite ice cream flavor of grade 5 pupils. How many boys prefer chocolate ice cream? 95 How many more boys than girls like vanilla ice cream? 15 What flavor of ice cream is preferred by most grade 5 pupils? How about the least preferred? Most preferred Rocky Road, less preferred Mango How many girls are there in grade 5 class? 350 what is the information being conveyed by the graph? The favorite ice cream flavor of grade 5 pupils. Activity number 2, interpreting, making conclusions and inferences, and solving problems using data from a double bar graph. Refer to the double bar graph below and answer the following questions. Prevalence of bullying by forms of bullying. What is the most common form of bullying based on the graph? In which form of bullying are there more victims among females than males? How much more males are experiencing verbal bullying as compared to females? Which forms of bullying is least experienced by males? Which form or forms of bullying are least experienced by women? How many among the students are experiencing cyberbullying? How many among the students are experiencing covert or indirect bullying? How much more students are experiencing physical bullying than verbal bullying? How many students participated in the survey? What message is being conveyed by the graph? Here are the correct answers. For day 4 From the discussion for this week, what is a double bar graph? What are the different parts of a bar graph? How do we create a double bar graph? Enumerate the steps. When do we use double bar graphs? In this lesson, we were able to look into some data about COVID-19 and prevalence of bullying among students. Do you think it is important to be able to understand the data being shown on those graphs? Why? As a mathematics student, being informed by those numbers, what are you going to do in order to raise awareness among others? Construct a double bar graph with complete parts using the data.
In which month are there many male student celebrants? In which month are there eight women who have birthdays? What is the total number of students who will celebrate their birthday on November to December? In which month? In which month is there the least number of students who will celebrate their birthday? How many more women have their birthdays from July to August? In which month is there an equal number of celebrant, both male and female? How many females are there in this class? How many students will celebrate their birthdays in the first half of the month? How many students participated in the survey? What message is being conveyed by the graph?